One of the reasons I was afraid to start the math circle for the longest time was that I had a lot of fears um, and I had to identify those fears and figure out how I would deal with them before I started my first math circle meeting. So what helped me was um, to put them down on paper. And that's what I want you to do as part of this week's assignment. It's okay to be scared of something. It's helpful in a way because it helps you focus and it helps you choose the options that are right for you. So what we're going to do is we're going to make what I call fear cards and then during the course we will see how we can transform our fears into uh, something a lot more productive. So one of my biggest fears was that the children that I would be working with, they would not even listen to me. I'm gonna write down kids not listening. Ignoring me. Okay. And, uh, I just imagine this horrible situations, let's say, uh, at a mass circle where this is me trying trying to teach them something. And now my whiteboard. I have a marker in my hands and the kids are maybe one or two are listening attentively and the rest are pretty much something like this. And one is like dancing on a table. I actually did have a situation where a kid climbed on a table and you don't have to draw uh, anything you can just write it down and then um, in this first week we want to talk about how choosing a style of your circle would help you deal with your fears uh, for example for me kids not listening or ignoring me uh, well one thing that I can do is and I can set my goal is be so interesting that they can't ignore you. And usually telling a really good story. Also, right here, what I drew, I pictured myself at a teacher's desk. Eliminating the desk also helped. Um, and so my, my math circles, a lot of times I was not a teacher behind the desk. I usually would stand or sit next to the children and we would tell stories. Um, so that's how making a fear card, and that's what I want you to do this week, is to make a card like this, where you just very honestly um, list your biggest fear, and if you have more than one, um, just go ahead and make more cards. And that, uh, on the reverse, you can start writing what would it like to conquer this fear? What do you picture happening? All right? And uh, if you share those cards with us in the course, we will definitely help you work through the, th the fears.